a note now, shortly after liftoff. One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, yeah. make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two seconds. Let's go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. I the space finished, launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Homework, it in and log in. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. count. Sound suppressor water now 15. flowing under the ML. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burn-off igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four-stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. Oh, and liftoff of Artemis One. Damn. We rise together back to the oh. moon and beyond. Look at that. Man, I wish I could be there to see that. That's got to be a sight, huh? All four RS-25 Five engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Holy cow. Harry, good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q at about one minute and nine seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. SLS now traveling 607 miles per hour. I think it's like one in the morning when we are. Yeah. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust. Quiet here. 